Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of the university series. So, what happened last episode? Leon played at a fancy charity brunch for Victoria Crocker and a bunch of other celebrities. Quite the debut for our little musician. Megan then took Leon for a bit of a makeover, invited him out to dinner where he got to meet Victoria Crocker's daughter, Adrian, a little better. Over with Mary. Mary looked into transferring to Foxbury after hearing about their robotics program and made a trip over to check out the campus. She ended up having her final exams and has now transferred to Foxbury and moved into her new apartment. So I thought it would be nice for Mary to move back in with her roommates, Avani, who turns out is erratic, so that's good. And uh, also Beatriz, who is just having a bad time right now. Oh, she's tense. So this is their new apartment. It's got a little robotic station with a keg. They're still students, okay? This over here is the ginormous <laughs> room for Mary. Like, holy shit, this was like the size of my whole ass apartment. This is Avani's room here, the slightly smaller room, but kind of cutesy. And this is Beatriz's room over here. Beatriz's? Beatriz's. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice house, but Mary comes from very, very wealthy parents. So um, she was able to live in a fancy place. So I thought it would be nice now that she's finished off some of her homework to do some more homework. She's a good girl. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool to invite out her new friend, Melissa, to the robotics club. Oh, wait, she has class soon? I thought it'd be cool to get her to try out her new robotics station, but I guess we'll do that in class, so. Okay, she's doing great in her class so far, so I'm very happy about that. I want her to do well at her rocket science class, so I'm gonna get her to do more homework. All right, let's head her off to the campus, her new campus. Okay, where can we find out about Events. Get university info. Okay. Okay, so the robotics club is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Ooh, so exciting. All right, I think we may as well make use of the robotics stations we have up here so we can get a little bit of a head start. Look at this lady. All right, I'm getting Mary to give Melissa a little bit of a text. Catch up with our new friend. Oh, look, Jules is here. Melissa doesn't seem to be taking the bait. Should we send her another text? Oh my God, look at this beauty of a man's. Is he as cute as I think he is? Oh my goodness. Okay, stop talking to the Melissa. There's a cute guy here. Wait, he looks kind of cute, but also like a little bit scary. Is it bad to say that I kind of love it? <laughs> oh, she's getting up to talk to him. Oh, we're trying to cheer him up. He's got, there's something weird about his eyes. They're just, they're very large. Oh, oh wow, okay. Oh no. Oh! Oh, Adam. Oh God, oh Adam. Oh no, she's so embarrassed. Oh, and he's crying. It's an awkward encounter. Oh my God, I can imagine. How about we offer to buy him a drink or something? Oh God, that was so bad. It couldn't have gone worse. All right, there aren't many people at the bar on a Wednesday afternoon, but we can ask this cat lady to uh, make us some drinks. Oh God. Oh no, look, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Okay, he's got his drink. He's looking a little bit happier. Poor guy's being kicked in the face of the ball. Oh, okay. Well, they seem to be getting on fine. Oh no. Oh no, it's Lorenzo. Oh god, I hate this guy. All right, should we take a should we take a seat away from everyone a little bit? We can sit over here by the window. Ah, oh, she's bragging about her grades. Oh, he's impressed. Why does he make me think of a smug villager? You know, his whole everything is smug looking. Let's just compliment his outfit. Oh, we got sentiments with this man. Oh, a bitter sentiment. Mary has a deep seated grudge against Adam. It's hard to forget or forgive the past. Oh, these two aren't getting along very well. Okay, spicy. Let's mock his outfit. This guy seems like a little bit of a douchebag, <laughs> but I do still want to flirt with him. <laughs> we mocked his outfit. Oh, <laughs> he took it. <laughs> Got him. We have some romance with him, but no friendship. Oh, like it's spicy, okay? 
Oh my god, it's 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you just wanna bang? Hmm. You can tell me. Oh my god, he is single. We can have our first kiss. Oh my goodness. A little bit of drinkies, a little bit of smooching. Oh my god, let's go risky hookup. Can we invite him home with us? Ha ha. All right, can we sneak past our flatmates? Oh, okay. Let's uh, see if we can sneak past. Oh, she's going to bed. Quickly, quickly now, you motherfuckers, get inside. <gasps> oh, they've made their way in. I mean, I don't think it's bad that her flatmates would know what's going on. We don't want too many questions to be asked if it's a one night stand. <laughs> it's a steamy exchange. <gasps> oh, I love it. Mary's first one night stand. How precious. <laughs> I say this like it's a normal thing. Not that it's not a normal thing, but I don't think I've had, had a one night stand. Can I say that online? Oh well. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, Mary. Let's go. I'm gonna just skip through this and head on to the next day. Okay. Aiden is up. It's uh, almost 10 a.m. Oh, he's heading straight out. Oh my god, he left. <laughs> he didn't even say goodbye. Oh my god, this guy is trash. I I love it. I love it. All right, let's uh, let's work on some homework this morning. I want to go and tell these guys that we had a one night stand. But I want to tell them without telling them who, you know? I feel like they'd probably know Aiden. It's a small city, you know? We don't want any drama, okay? We already got enough. Oh god, these guys still have the same hair color. We should definitely change that. What a story, wow. She's like, that's great. Your first one night stand, we love to see it. Get it, girl. All right, do we have class today? We don't have any classes today. What on earth? Okay. And we have finished all of our homework. Oh my god, who is this woman? Let's uh, go ahead and uh, maybe get a bit of box dye out. <clears throat> I like to think Avani and Beatrice do their own hair, so, you know, it's cute. Just, just cute, just cute roommate things. I kind of want to go to back to black. <gasps> oh my god, the blonde. Oh my god, we can go peroxide blonde. Oh my goodness. Look how cute she looks. I love it. All right, we're going peroxide blonde this time. And then maybe we'll go back to black. Oh my God, amazing. Look at this bad bitch. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, since we have no classes today, I think we should go and study. This, this is just the reality of university life. She's studying for rocket science and then I think we'll get her to study a little bit for her communications papers. Um, so we have lots of time before our robotics club starts at 7 p.m. Oh my goodness, and she's still thinking about her first kiss and woohoo with Aiden. Amazing. This lady is just killing it. I love her so much. <gasps> she's feeling studious. She's feeling confident. All right, it is almost time for the robotics club. So let's head over to the commons. And uh, maybe let's invite, let's maybe invite Melissa as well. So I've given Melissa a little bit of an update. She's got some different outfits now, which I quite liked. She's turned up a little bit drunk, so that's good. Well, the robotics club is apparently already in session. Oh, we need to go and ask these guys. Okay, we can go and do that. Hey, care to uh, let us join your club thingy? Hey, Mary's now an official Bob Savant member. Savant, why do I suck? Oh, she got a t-shirt and a poster as a welcoming gift. Okay. Has this guy got the t-shirt on? Oh, <gasps> Aiden is part of the robotics club. Oh no. Oh, and he's been sizzled somehow. Oh no, that's, that's kind of awkward. Well, I mean, and there are only four of us in the club as well. Like what are the odds that this man would just turn up? Is he okay? He doesn't look okay. Well, that's fine, that's fine. Melissa can go and hang out over here while we tinker with our mm, lose eyes, yes. Uh, well, this has been just great, everyone. Um, very intimate gathering for sure. Let's <laughs> get out for the night. Oh gosh, I just realized that Melissa has completely left. She wasn't into the robotics and uh, she wasn't interested in hanging out with us. So I guess it is almost midnight, but I feel kind of sad about that. I wanted to hang out with Melissa. So I think it would be cool at some point for uh, Mary to actually ask Melissa out. All right, we are now here with Mr. Leon, who is uh, looking very 
snazzy in his new makeover. So he's up super early and that's because today is a very big day. Uh, as you can see, Leon has raked in quite a bit of cash from his songs and he's been working extremely hard. So as you guys know, Leon has uh, been talking with Adrian recently and his brother Milo has also aged up, which is super exciting. And because he's earning a bit more, well, he's actually earning a lot, I have decided we're going to move him in with Adrian and his brother to a new apartment. So today is moving day. Let's pack up all your stuff. I feel a little bit sad that we're not going to be living with Jules anymore, but to be honest, did we ever live with Jules? It's kind of hard to tell. He was not present very often. All right, say goodbye, Leon. Let's call the moving truck. Okay, so this is the new place. Some savings have been put away and partially has been played by uh, Adrian's family. You know, they've got a pretty dope setup. They've got this DJing area. We've got uh, his little keyboard over here, another guitar. He's actually got a nice place to watch TV now and a place to, uh, you know, have some drinks. This is Leon's little room. It's just super basic, but he does have a double bed now, which is really nice. This is Adrian's room, which is a little bit nicer. She's got her violin in here. And then this is going to be Milo's room. Let's uh, let's get him to add to his Simstagram story. Oh yes, beach, get it. So Leon seems to have arrived first. Let's get him to, oh my goodness, stock the new drink platter maybe with something super expensive ready for the new flatmates to arrive flatmate slash brother flatmate and brother yes and we got a nice view and everything this is such a nice apartment honestly okay the flatties have arrived and so have the neighbors his new flatmate is mary and it looks like she did not realize that he was going to be the new neighbor but she has come around to introduce herself they did not have a particularly easy ending to their uh uh, friendship? Would we call it friendship? I just don't know. But anyway, Mary is uh, pretending like everything is okay. She's completely stinky. This this was not a good idea. Oh, and Milo has also realized that she's stinky. Let's get Adrian to introduce herself to Mary as they have actually never met. Oh, and Leon has scooched along. <laughs> This is so much more awkward than I anticipated it would be. At least Adrian is completely clueless and having a nice chat. Let's have a bit of a gossip together and Mary's just awkwardly like, oh my God. Uh, maybe because this is such an awkward situation, we could get Leon to maybe uh, pull Mary aside for a little bit. So uh, we're gonna ask her if she can come out into the hall with us. She's looking very uncomfortable right now. I don't know if it's the fact that she's smelling or what, but she's not happy. Crazy part about this is that they still have really high friendship. No more romance or anything, but like they've technically stayed good friends. Okay, my camera just died. So, um, is the IRL things. And I feel like Leon would uh, give her the cold shoulder. She would be like, you're dating Glenn. You don't know anything. She's like, bitch, you still think I date Glenn? You crazy. Okay, well, this is definitely awkward. So Mary's not stoked about this whole thing. All right, well, just to mix things up a little bit, let's um, let's invite Michelle over. All right, I'm gonna get Leon to invite Michelle over to make him feel better about himself and the fact that this beautiful lady ain't not interested. Ain't not? Yep, that's a word. Michelle Faye will be right over. <gasps> Michelle, you beautiful queen, look at you. Oh, and Adrian and Mary are hanging out while Mary is just doing some homework. This is very weird. Can we get Leon to serenade Michelle? Yes. He's going to serenade Michelle right in front of Mary and make things particularly awkward. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, that's great. I feel like Michelle is so cool. She'd be a bit more like low key about this, but you know what? She's very into him. How about let's attempt to seduce her and then uh, see if we can woohoo. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, spicy. Let's ask her to be our girlfriend. She's probably, oh, she said yes. I love it. Aw. All right. Well, these two are now actually dating, which has probably made Mary even more infuriated because he, <sighs> was terrible. Oh my goodness, she seems to be very into him. She's like trying to insert herself into the conversation still. Mary, you're better than this. You're better than this. Let's uh, mock her music taste because Leon is a shallow beach. 
we'll uh we'll give her the cold shoulder and then we will do the scummiest thing of all and just leave the party to woohoo with michelle <gasps> what are you doing no you can't have <laughs> you can't do it in here this is not the room for that no this is not the room either oh my god this is the room this is <gasps> no oh my god oh this is bad oh milo please don't go in there oh milo's hanging out with the girlies oh my god this is messy this is very messy well Beatrice is off these two are being disgusting and uh you know many many dramas have begun great okay well that's it for this episode I hope you enjoyed it got a little bit messy there at the end don't quite know what's going on but that's fine but yeah if you guys enjoyed this there is also race to riches linked down in the description if you would like an equally dramatic series my instagram is also down below if you would like to see my workouts and there is also the link to the discord if you would like to come in and hang out with us i hope you guys had a lovely christmas and new years i know i did it was great to take a bit of time off but i am back to live streaming as well so if you want to come and hang out i am live on twitch most weekdays so yeah uh thank you guys very much for watching and i hopefully will see you next time bye